Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys how to use share play and screen sharing on your iPhone on iOS 15.1. These are two amazing features that Apple has presented on the first beta of iOS 15, but then they removed them before releasing iOS 15 to the public. Now they are back with iOS 15.1 and they're quite good. So in this video, I will show you guys exactly how you can use these two features on FaceTime, share play and screen sharing. So let's go ahead and start off with screen sharing. So we already here on a FaceTime call with my iPhone and my iPad right here. I wanna share the screen of my iPhone to my iPad. Now the first step I suggest everyone does is go to settings and head on to the notification settings and go ahead and go to screen sharing. Make sure to turn off notifications. This will block notifications when you're screen sharing not when someone sends you a message or something you don't want that message to appear on your screen while you're sharing the screen with someone else that's what that setting does so make sure you do that now if i want to share the screen of my iphone with the ipad right here all i have to do is just tap anywhere on the screen and you will see of course that interface right there you will have that button right there in the corner tap share my screen and in three seconds right there the screen will be shared with the other user that's how easy it is so you will notice right there on the ipad there we have the screen of the iphone so if i go anywhere on the ipad i can still have the screen right there of course you can even resize it make it bigger or smaller so it works pretty good and most of the times is really really smooth now once you're done with that you don't want to share the screen anymore very simple all you gotta do is just go ahead and tap right there again and that will end and of course screen sharing now has been stopped next up i will show you guys how to use share play on your ios 15.1 device now you can use it with apple music you can use it with the apple tv you can use it with disney plus i believe and there are a few other apps in which you can use share play of course it will be supported on more apps in the near future now first of all you have a new settings section on the facetime settings so if you go to settings go to facetime you will have share play settings and you can enable or disable it from here of course but then you will also have share play automatically this means that if an app is enabled here whenever you enter an app like music or tv and start playing something that will be automatically shared with a person you're talking to on facetime so you have to choose here whether you want to do that or not so in this case we're trying to play a movie here so let's go to the movie and you can see right there you can go ahead and choose content to share play right here so you can see a pop-up so if i try to play this episode you can see it will ask me if i just want to start it only for me or i want to share play it so if i tap on share play then right there on the other device it will give me the option to go ahead and join and actually watch this movie together that's how share play works you can see it will start on both devices and it's actually really really good you can see how you can use share play on your devices now once you're done of course you can get out of that interface and you will get this pop-up right here you can end this for everyone or you can end it only for you if you want to but if you tap right there it will basically end for everyone that's on that call that's how you share play a movie and that's how you share play also music and how you share the screen of your device with the new ios 15.1 features so that's basically it for this video guys this is everything that you need to know regarding the new share play and share screen features of ios 15 hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one